Hey there, today I have an unboxing video. This is the monthly subscription box from Scout Comics. So we're gonna open this up and take a look at the high grade books that are inside, stay tuned. All right, here we go. We're going to go ahead and open this box of uh, comics from Scout Comics. Uh, if you've seen my other unboxing videos, I talk about how Scout has pretty much uh, what I think is the best box to ship comics. Uh, it's It always comes uh, every month just like this in this uh, branded box, uh, but it is super sturdy. Uh, so let me go ahead and open this and you can see uh, just how the books are packaged. All right, got the box open, and let's see. Looks like they've got some uh, some goodies right here on the top. So this is a Lunar Ladies, like a postcard, uh, and a White Ash Season Two poster. So these are cool things to just kind of hang up in the comic cave. Uh, oh, nice, and a free comic book day of White Ash. I, I love getting the free comic book uh, day inserts. I love when online shops or direct publishers uh, put these in here. It's can't always assume that we're all going to the LCS uh, to get uh, free comics, so that's really cool. I appreciate that. Okay, so this is the box open. You can see it has these, these great borders. Again, it's all nicely branded uh, by Scout Comics, but this really protects the books uh, from the top and bottom. And we've got two, uh, essentially two mini bricks of books all that uh, come with this really great uh, bubble wrap sleeve uh, and then some additional tape on the bottom that we'll have to take off. But uh, it comes really nice, nicely secured. Uh, never had an issue with impact damage from Scout. Okay, so just got to get this tape off, so I'll work on that. All right, so what we're left with here are these two sleeves. Uh, I love these uh, bubble wrap sleeves here. We got one more get tape to get off. All right, so we've got these bubble wrap sleeves and the books just slide right out. And I love these, <laughs> uh, these bags. Uh, they're really great when you're sending a couple of books or in this case, uh, four or five. Um, they're worth holding on to for when you send books out yourself. Got one more thing of tape here. Very very careful not to uh, damage the books myself. Okay. So we've got these couple of sleeves. I'm gonna go ahead and get the second one undone here. All right. So let's go through the stack. And with Scout, you're gonna get a nice mixture of books from a couple other different imprints. So this one, for example, this is uh, Little Guardians number one. Uh, this is from the Scoot uh, Kids line. Um, got that $1.99 cover price. So I love that they're putting out these books. They're great for kids. I'll give them to my kids just to check them out. Um, it's really awesome that they, they are doing this and keeping that price tag at $1.99 and affordable. So that's awesome. So that's Little Guardians number one. Next is Redshift number three. And I'm not going to screen these books here, uh, but Scout is on my list of stores and direct publishers and basically anywhere that I get comic books. I go through and I, I grade them. So if you watch my screening videos, you'll see me go through them in more detail uh, where we'll, we'll actually take them out of the bag and grade the books. I'm not going to do that with Scout because honestly, I expect most of these books to be a 9.8 and the stats prove it. Uh, so 
there's a few things going on with the Scout subscription box that I love. You're getting great independent stories, uh, a little bit different from what you're getting from Marvel, DC, Image, and Boom. Uh, but also, the books are in high grade. This is Locust number four. The end is here. Snatched number two. Look at this cover with the Chihuahua on the front. I'll have to... Should I give that one to my mother-in-law? No? Keep it from... Okay, I'll keep it. All right, so this one, Night of the Cadillacs. Now, this one has had some alternate covers. I think the one with the, the bloody teeth and everything. Uh, this one, it looks like it comes with that matte cover. That's a couple other things. So they'll have uh, books that come in the glossy cover and books that come in the matte, sort of softer uh, cover. And what I love about those is those are very rarely damaged at all. They, they very rarely have any sort of uh, corner wear or, or spine ticks whatsoever. So you couple that material with Scout and those books are, are nearly perfect every time. Uh, this is a really great cover. Um, I don't know much about this story, so I'll have to check it out. But uh, really, really good looking cover here. I like this one. Midnight Western Theater number five. So I have the Ashcan and issues one through five now of this series and all thanks to the subscription. Uh, so that's another thing you don't have to worry about going into your uh, your pull box and subscribing to these because Scout just delivers them to you every month. Broken Souls Ballad number three. This is from the Black Caravan imprint. That's what I was talking about. So you'll see here that uh, they'll include books from Black Caravan, which is sort of their mature line. And again, love the, the paper material on the cover on this one. Uh, really great color scheme and cover on this one too. So uh, very cool. Um, and I have issues one through three now, again, all through the subscription. Same thing with By the Horns. This is issue six. So at, at first the subscription uh, box was including a lot of number ones. Uh, but now that some of their series are 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 becoming more consistently published. Uh, we're, uh, we're getting up into close to double digits in some of these issue numbers. Uh, and what's great is uh, I have a whole run of these thanks to the subscription box. So this is By the Horns number six. Uh, the artist Jason Muir, I think, is uh, really, really uh, fantastic. He's very, very talented. Um, so he's doing covers and interiors on By the Horns. Um, and really, really great uh, art here done by Jason Muir. Next is Rabid World, number four. Uh, looks like we got a guy on fire on the front. Uh, maybe some zombies in the back. Um, I don't know much about this series either, but uh, I do have one through four. Uh, so it kind of just depends on whether or not I want to um, start reading these in trades or the singles. But I've got them all here uh, thanks to the subscription box. So here's a new number one. Uh, this has the 599 cover. So if you were wondering, uh, this is uh, Tart number one, uh, Devils and Demagogues. Uh, there have been some other, uh, I guess, spinoffs or other series uh, with the Tart uh, title. Uh, but what I wanted to talk about uh, quickly is the, the cover price. So you'll notice this is 599. The Scoot books are $1.99. So it ends up kind of averaging out. So if you're like, well, if the price of the subscription box is so much and we're dividing it by the number of books, then I'm paying more on those dollar ninety nines. You are, but on average, you're not uh, because uh, you'll see this one has that five ninety nine price tag right there, um, and you're getting this for uh, I believe half that. So um, it's a good way to think about it. You're getting some of these at a discount and maybe uh, overpaying by a dollar or two uh, on those uh, the scoot ones, but uh, you'll only get one or two of the scoot. Uh, per subscription if you're not into the kids books um, but they'll, they'll always include like a bigger book like this that that carries the the heavier um, or a heftier I should say price um, so it all e evens out in the end this is impossible Jones number one it's like a superhero book and Last one in the box is The Shepherd, The Path of Souls, number one. Again, from that Black Caravan imprint with the matte cover. Uh, I really, really like these. Um, and they designate, you know, there it is, a Scout Comics imprint. Um, very interesting cover here with the uh, the skulls. Uh, looks like a wartime story here. 
uh, The Path of Souls, The Shepherd. So I have to check that out too. So really great selection of books. Uh, it's pr You pretty much have uh, something for everybody, um, which is nice. You have something for kids. You've got some stuff for mature readers, um, superhero books. It's a really nice mixture. So if you love reading independence and you want to check out some, some stories, like I mentioned, that are a little bit uh, different from... The, the larger publishers, definitely check out Scout. And I love that the books are consistently in high grade, great shape. Uh, I have not even once, knock on wood, uh, had an issue with the box being damaged or ship, um, you know, something happening in shipment or in transit. So a really great combination of great stories, great art, independent publishing, uh, and high-grade comics all coming from Scout uh, every month. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Happy collecting, and see you next time.